Hi guys, welcome back to the Auction Modeler. We are now on to issue five of the Panini Collections Ferrari F40. So with uh, issue five, we get the parts to assemble the first brake disc. Um, so as normal, we'll just get everything re-angled at the table and we'll get started with assembly part five. So with part five of the assembly, you just get, like I say, the parts for the, um, for the first brake disc. Now they all come in these little uh, plastic bags, which is quite nice, apart from this piece, which comes wrapped in this nice piece of foam to keep it protected. So I'm gonna keep that on there so I don't scratch anything on the worktop. Um, so that is actually the first piece that you need though. And then you need this, no, no, this one here. So, so the instructions say, place both of the main pieces of the brake disc onto your work surface. So that's these two parts here. And uh, the picture above shows the four interlocking elements on the piece. So this one, the four holes that are just there are the same on the back there. Now you can see, that's a better picture actually. You can see there where the four holes are. Now fix the two parts of the brake disc in place, aligning the four interlocking pieces and pressing firmly together. So you take this piece and you've got the four pegs that are there. Whoops, sorry. Four pegs that are on there. And what we do is we take this part and where we've got all these ribs on the inside, we push that down onto those four holes. So it's like the four holes inside match up with the four holes on the, uh, sorry, the four pins match up with the four holes. He says, that's the right way around. There we go. So, if we gently just push it down, there we go. So, there we go. So that's all clicked into place there. Um, so put that one down that way. Now, the next four holes, so the four holes that are on this side here, so those four there, uh, the outer part of the brake disc and the cover also have four interlocking elements. Combine these two parts by lining all four of the corresponding pins and holes. So, I like the fact that this hasn't got any glue involved, to be honest, because with the Bismarck, it did my, it's doing my nut with how many, how many parts we have to glue. It'd be nice if they were just push fit like this kind of thing. So that's that, all done. All push fit into place. There we go, so that's that next part. So same with that black part. Um, all you do with that is just four pins, just push the pins through. And then the two outer parts of the brake caliper has two pins. Insert them into the corresponding holes in the inside of the caliper and press the two components together. So we take the actual brake caliper itself out of its little baggy. Um, this part that we've just taken out of the bag, you can kind of see it there, has just got the two pins on. That will go into the two holes that are just on there as well. So that just gets pushed in like this. We'll try not to angle it too much because you'll probably snap the pins off. And then we will end up gluing it. There we go. So just be gentle as you can with this just to get it all, there we are. So that is that all attached. That part should be able to spin pretty much freely. There we go. So that's the uh, brake disc and the brake caliper all done. That's it for issue five. So yeah, very nice, uh, very nice quick issue there. So that's the, um, the brakes all sorted. So when this actually gets attached in here, there's kind of inside the wheel, I don't know whether you can make it out, kind of, there's two little um, like pegs. So you've got one just on that side there and then one straight opposite, like little indents. You've got the same on there but actual pegs. So what I'm thinking is when that goes in, it will catch onto there. So it'll look something like that when it's in. Um, and then you obviously screw that part through and onto there. You probably get the hubcap or something like that in a later issue. 
Um, but yeah, we're getting, we're starting to get through it now. It's nice. It's uh, the the actual um, quality of the parts is is amazing. I can't fault the quality of the parts um, that we've received so far. And um, with issue six, we get the left cylinder head and the ignition coils. So that's all just on there. And then with issue seven, the right cylinder head cover, gaskets, and studs. And we get the first part of um, the first sprues that we'll attach with this one as well. So. Uh, yeah, looking all good. So that's issue five of the Ferrari F40 all done. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Auction Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness and something I've never mentioned before. Remember to um, hit the bell icon as well um, because I've now got the three builds, the Bismarck, the F40 and um, the Spitfire as well. Um, you can select whether you want to receive notifications every time I upload something, which will get you all three, or um, if you want to personalise, and that should obviously then link to if you watch the F40, or if you watch the Bismarck, or if you watch the um, Spitfire, it should just let you know when I upload. But make sure you click the bell um, and obviously hit all so you know every time I upload a video. Um, Please forgive the lighting. It's been a bit of an issue, I know, for quite a while. Um, I am looking at getting another lamp to go on this side. Now I've been, I've got one lamp that I've been moving side to side, depending on what I need and when I need it. Um, I will be getting another one hopefully quite soon. I don't know exactly when, but I'll be able to pop another lamp on this side, and then I'll have kind of light from both sides. Um, so it should make the the quality of the videos a little bit better if I'm recording at night. Obviously, at the minute, with it being still, you know, winter. Um, I'm recording this about half past six um, on Thursday evening, so um, it's pitch black outside. Um, and the, the lamp I've got is one I got from work a while ago, and it does help to light things up, but obviously it, it does throw the contrast off. Um, but yeah, as I say, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the Auction Modeler. Um, more videos will be coming out shortly. I have got the next part of the Bismarck and the Spitfire ready to go. Uh, but until next time, happy modeling, guys.